Hey there, Ventex here. We are back with some more Phasmophobia. We are now going to the Grafton farmhouse. Last time we did Bleedsdale. And again, it's going to be on Professional. Now, I already added all my equipment that I want. Uh, I might add one more photo camera, actually. But I got two photo cameras, so I have ten photos to take in total, just in case we run out of one. I have two lighters, just in case I lose one, because they're kind of small. UV light, I only need one. Flashlight, I've got a strong one instead. I'm going to use that. EMF reader, I only need one. Video camera, I need two, so I can take one of those away. Spirit box, one. Smudge sticks, two, just in case I use one and it doesn't work. If we have an objective, I have another one. At least I can try to get it right the second time. Tripods for the video cameras. Uh, like I said, strong flashlight. One motion sensor is all I really need. Thermometer and ghost book. So let's ready up and get it going. Here we go. Okay. Go ahead, turn these on and put them on to the tripods. No reports of violence. That's nice for us. So we have to witness a ghost event. Dirty photo, or dirty water, water photo. <laughs> Detect the room below 10 Celsius with a thermometer. Richard Robinson is the name. Response to people who are alone. Great, we are completely alone because it's a solo mission all right let's open up then we'll go ahead and get started put all of our belongings onto the porch now again generally speaking if I was playing this professional with a group I might not do this because there's four people so we all can have three items including a flashlight I guess you want to say two items so that's two four six eight items which is pretty much everything you'll need for your investigation but since it's just me it just helps to get everything out there and ready because that's a lot of stuff that I would have to track all the way from there to here instead I'd rather just go from here to there uh, now the last time we did the farmhouse the Bleedsdale that has the Bedrooms upstairs in the attic. This one only has three bedrooms upstairs. And it's a smaller kitchen, no workshop downstairs. So it's kind of like this smaller farmhouse. So we should be able to find something relatively quick. I don't even know. We don't even need the motion sensor. I just brought it just in case. Uh, when you do get to professional, uh, that motion sensor is an objective a lot of the times. So it's always good to bring that with. Right now, sound sensor and the microscope and the salt do not have objectives but I think they're going to make an update here pretty soon and that's going to be a new objective as well okay so we don't need smudge sticks either so all we really have is an extra camera but we already have one right here too so if we needed an extra camera we'll go all the way back but I think we're good with what we got let's put our crucifix down next to the other one Put our camera down. We'll start with the thermometer because we have to use that to detect the under 10, 10 degrees Celsius. But also it's probably the best tool to track the ghost out the bat. Find it quick. And we'll go get it started. Now is Robert Robinson, I believe his name was. But we're going to find him before we start making him mad. Okay, so we're going to start by turning on this light. Found some creeks already. Could be upstairs though. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn on some of these lights to preserve our sanity. I think I heard something. No. Doesn't appear to be the case. Might be over this way. Generally speaking, there's the voodoo doll in this room, right here. So we'll take the photo of that later and see if we can get the interaction. I heard a footstep just now. I heard it again. I think it's coming from that room.
Oh, this light's on. So we know where he is. He decided to show himself. Yep, that's a lot of footsteps, and he has a light on. That's pretty much the best thing about playing solo, is you can tune into those clues and those sounds a lot quicker than when you're playing with a group, because you don't have anybody talking. Uh, let's see. I still need to get... I wonder if that counted. I had under 10 outside. I don't think it did. I'm going to put this crucifix in here. There's under 10. We'll give it another go. Under 10. There. It's messing with the door a lot. That should be the thermometer done. Uh, let's go grab the spirit box and the UV light. He's very interactive with that door. So we might have some fingerprints already. Let's see. And he did turn on the light. So there we go. We already got fingerprints right there. And anything on the light? Nope. We can go ahead and... He is stepping all over here. Go into our book and put the fingerprints. See if we can get him to talk to us. Where are you? How old are you? Do you want to hurt me? Nothing on that so far, but check it out. We got the ghost writing as well. Ghost writing. Now, typically, I'd go outside and do this when I'm doing solo, but I'm not really too afraid of this ghost. I don't know why. I feel like uh, we got this one, but that's probably going to end up getting me killed. I will provoke it like I do all the ones eventually. We got our camera. Let's go over here. I want to take a picture of that voodoo doll. Try to get that interaction. I also got to take a picture of the door. Now, typically, when you're playing with a group, you want to take a picture with someone shining the UV light on it. But, if you check this out, see, it looks like just a picture of the door. But if you look in your journal, it says fingerprints on here. So, it still registers when you're solo if you want to take a picture of the door with the fingerprints on it. So, something to keep in mind. Do have this interaction right here. Will it register? See, sometimes it doesn't do it. That's okay. We all saw from the previous video that that voodoo doll will register as a interaction. Is this off? Where are you? It is off. I didn't mean to turn it off. Where are you? Close. Close and old. Oh. Oh, low. Okay. That got me. That <laughs> got me. I was not expecting that. I was expecting him to be right there. So we know what type of ghost it is. We got fingerprints, ghost riding, and spirit box. So we're dealing with a spirit. Now spirits are weak against the smudge stick. So if I was concerned, I can use a smudging to help uh, weaken it. We can see that here. Spirit, no strengths. Uh, spirit is the most common ghost you will come across. However, it is still very powerful and dangerous. They are usually discovered at one of their haunting grounds after an unexplained death. So strengths are none. Weakness, using smudge sticks on a spirit will stop it attacking for a long period of time. So I don't even need this EMF reader anymore. I'm going to throw that over here in the forest. There you go. We already know what it is. That's not going to give us anything that we don't already have. Got a couple pictures in that camera, so we're going to replenish our camera. We already got a photo of the ghost. We need 10 Celsius still and a photo of dirty water. Okay, so I thought we had below 10, but apparently not. We're going to take this camera. We're also going to grab the crucifix. We're going to throw the crucifix where we just saw the spirit. And let's look at the name as well. I think it was Robert Robinson or something like that. Let me check. It is Richard Robinson. Richard Robinson. All right.
Richard Robinson. Did he turn off the lights? Yeah, he got the uh, breaker box. So he was just right over here. He is messing with doors left and right. Okay. Yeah, pick this back up. That should register under 10. I don't know why that had it completed yet. All right, let's get away to run. There's another voodoo doll. There's two on this map. So we can run and hide into this. Okay, I was gonna say we can run and hide into this room, but maybe not. Oh shoot, where do we go? Maybe over here? Let's take it away. Richard Robinson. Where are you? Show yourself. Give me a sign. Richard Robinson. Let me go over this way. Let me get this door ready. That's a big boy. Big boy spirit. I don't see his photo anywhere. Richard Robinson. There's a light that just flashed there. I don't know if you saw that. Richard Robinson. Where are you? So you can hear the spirit box from here. You don't even have to be in the same room, apparently. Richard Robinson. Richard Robinson. Give me a sign. Richard Robinson. Yeah, you can call him from out here, apparently. He's doing all kinds of stuff. Richard Robinson. Richard. Richard Robinson, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Richard Robinson. Do you want me to leave? Give me a sign. Where are you? See, it's crazy. I can interact with it from here. That's, that's weird. Richard Robinson. Richard. Richard Robinson, where are you? Let's mess with the door up there. We're coming down a little bit further. I'm trying to initiate a hunt. Richard Robinson. I'm wondering if I should go ahead and take away that crucifix as well. Let's check our sanity real quick. Last time we had a bug, our sanity kept going up. It's at 60 right now. I don't think we're going to get the sync objective, but we got the other two. We got the thermometer now, and we got the witness a ghost event. All right. Good pictures so far in our journal. Did we get the... Uh, no, it still didn't register as an interactive, but we got picture of Richard and picture of the fingerprints. Okay, I'm coming over here to take this crucifix away. I'm going to put this.
this outside and see if that triggers anything. He's messing with those doors. Richard Robinson, where are you? Richard, give me a sign. Richard Robinson. Richard. Richard Robinson, give me a sign. So I'm standing out here in the dark, which is a flashlight, so my sanity should be draining a decent amount. Took away both crucifixes so he can completely hunt me whenever he wants to now. Okay. <laughs> He's there in the laundry room. Richard. Where are you? Give me a sign. Give me a sign, Richard. Show yourself, Richard. Or, give me a sign. Where are you? Next. Richard, you better not close that door. Yeah, that's what I thought. It opened a little bit. See? Look, it's opening. Richard. Okay. Richard. Where are you? Where are you? Richard, where are you? Give me a sign. Show yourself. Where are you? Where are you? Close. How close? Give me a sign. Are you close or are you away? How old are you, Richard? How old are you? Old. You look kind of old. Richard. Richard Robinson. Come get some. Richard, where are you? It kind of looks like Richard right there. Like he got messed up. I guess that's the closest thing. Where are you? Oh, there's a, a wisp just there. Did you see that? It's so confusing because you can see that on the camera too and it looks like a ghost door. But just remember, a ghost door is that little dot. It could be confusing for a lot of people. I don't know what that is. Look, it just clipped through that. That's crazy. Richard. Richard Robinson. Give me a sign. Richard Robinson, show yourself. My sanity's gotta be pretty low. Try closing the door. Just to give him a little bit more motivation. We got some good pictures of him though. It spiked up there for a little bit at 10. Sanity's at 60%. It hasn't really dropped at all. It was at 60% earlier. Now it's at 57. So it's probably between 57 and 55 maybe. We should be able to start a hunt soon. We'll give it a little bit more time. Richard. Richard Robinson. Where are you? Where are you, Richard? Next. Next what? Where are you? Give me a sign. Give me a sign, Richard. Richard Robinson. Richard. Richard Robinson, Richard Robinson, Richard Robinson, Richard Robinson. 
Sometimes that does it. Sometimes not. Richard. Come on out, Richard. I got a beer for you. Richard, I got a beer for you. You want a beer? 6.5% uh, 6 alcohol. You can't turn on the light switches. You already turned off the breaker, bud. That's not how electricity works. Richard, I got a Dubmeister for you. Since 1903. Richard Robinson. You want a Dubmeister? Cool, refreshing taste. Dubmeister, come get some. Richard Robinson. He's not giving me any activity now. If you try and flip light switches, that doesn't do anything, Richard. You turned off the breaker already. That's not how electricity works, buddy. Look. Nothing. Richard Robinson. Where are you? Away where? How far away? Richard Robinson. Yeah, come on, big boy. I'm ready. Let's dance. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's another ghost orb right there. You see that? That's not a ghost orb. I don't know what that is, though. Because we already have our evidence. There's Richard just being a clown. Richard Robinson. I'm leaving, Richard. I'm going to leave. All right. We got what we needed. Richard. Alright, we got our hunt that we wanted. Bye, Richard. Taking your beer. Alright, so that is the Grafton Farmhouse. Professional difficulty. Lots of activity from Richard. He made a lot of appearances, so I'm glad about that. Took him a while to hunt, but hey, he came at us at the end. But. We're too quick for him. We could have probably outrun him, but this place is kind of small, so I would be limited in my movement. If it was at the high school, though, I would definitely would have kept running. I would have even hid. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. That gave you some chills. I know I try to uh, not get too scared, but even though I play around with the spirits, it gets me too. If you did enjoy that, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And uh, before I see you next time, let's go ahead and confirm our spirit but then I'll see you next time once this is confirmed don't want to keep y'all guessing even though that evidence was pretty pretty much in our face $160 130 experience we're now level 135 so again if you did enjoy that hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.